Adam here from the Walzer Automotive Group, and what I want to do today is compare a couple of 2024 Honda Pilot models. So we'll look at the EXL versus the Elite, see the differences on the inside, the outside, and see which one might just be perfect for you. Let's start by looking at the 2024 Honda Pilot EXL. Now, this is going to be the all-wheel drive. So it comes standard with front-wheel drive, and you can option the all-wheel drive, which is going to be great for these Minnesota winners. Now, in terms of fuel economy, this has a 285 horsepower V6, and that's going to be mated to a super smooth 10-speed automatic. So that's going to be getting you about 25 mpg on the highway, and most of the time it is going to be in front-wheel drive to help you get the best possible mileage. Now from there, the EXL and the Elite will have a similar styling up front, but there will be a few different grill options, whether you're looking at more of the base pilot or the cool trail sport, which is going to be a little bit more off-road focused. That's going to have a one inch lift and some different wheels and tires, but the EXL is going to come with these 18 inch wheels. Now from here, you'll notice on the outside, you're going to have heated side mirrors with the LED indicators. And then out back, this one does have the tow package. So when you go from front wheel drive, the towing is going to be about 3,500 pounds. And then if you jump up to the all wheel drive, that goes to about 5,000 pounds. So that's going to tow about a 22 foot boat. So this is very capable in terms of hauling a utility trailer, or maybe your boat up to the cabin for the weekend. Now, in terms of the pilot, this can either be a seven passenger or an eight passenger vehicle. So what that means is that's gonna be the captain's chairs on the inside would change for that middle row. But if we're looking at cargo storage, this EXL is gonna have a power lift gate in the back. So you can click that on the key fob or just click the button on the back and that will pop the hatch. From there, you'll notice you do have that third row, which folds down very easily with just the pull of a handle. And the EXL as well as the Elite will have third row USB charging. Now the third row is pretty spacious. If you got the little kids, you can throw them back there or adults will fit back there as the second row can slide a little bit and access into that is very simple. But let's hop over, we'll look at the outside of the Elite before we jump back inside of this one. So looking at the 24 Pilot, now the biggest difference on the Elite that you'll notice right away is the 20 inch wheels with these different Bridgestone tires. From there, exterior styling will remain pretty much the same, except for this one will have the roof rack rails up above, so you can throw a cargo box up there if you're going away for a long weekend. Now beyond that, this one will have those heated side mirrors as well as the rain sensing wipers on the front, and a lot of different stuff is mainly gonna be found inside. This one, we do have the bench seat in the back compared to the captain's chairs, but let's hop over to the EXL. We'll check out that interior. All right, so the second row, like I said, this is gonna be the captain's chair. So you are gonna have a large opening in the center here, which makes it very easy to access that third row, or there is a little button on the side or just above your shoulder that will actually kick and slide the seat forward. You can also fold this second row flat. So it makes it very easy if you're not hauling people to haul a lot of cargo around. Like I said, that third row folds down, the second row can fold, so you do get a lot of usable space. From there in the back of the EXL, you'll have cup holders as well as the window shade. So if you've got the little kids in the back, you can pull those up and keep the sun out of their eyes. Now this one will have two USB-C chargers back here as well as a tri or the third zone climate control. So you can pick your own temperature for the rear passengers. But most of the good stuff is gonna be in the driver's seat. So let's hop up there and we'll take a look. All right, so now in the EXL driver's seat, we've always got our cell phones with us, right? So this one is gonna have wireless charging as well as a couple of USB plugs up front here for the driver and the passenger. Now, I've already gone ahead and paired my phone. It's got wireless Apple CarPlay as well as Android Auto. So it's gonna give you your Google Maps, all your messaging, your Spotify, all that good stuff is right here on the touch screen. And this is very easy to use and very convenient for keeping your focus on the road ahead. So looking at our steering wheel and our gauge cluster here, this is where one of the differences will be between the Elite and the EXL. On the left side here, you've got a little controller to go through things like your trip computer, some of your safety settings, and then on the right side, that's just gonna be your standard speedometer. So on the right side of the steering wheel though, that's where you've got your adaptive cruise control. So the Honda sensing safety features in this vehicle are pretty amazing, and across the pilot lineup, they're gonna be pretty much standard things like blind spot monitoring, lane mitigation, there's the adaptive cruise control system. So you set four, three, two, one lengths, card lengths ahead of you, and that's gonna keep that distance. So if you're doing a lot of highway driving, it makes it very convenient and safe when you're on the road. Now these seats are super comfortable in here, and they're gonna be heated in this model for the driver as well as the passenger. Now from there, beyond the heated seats, you're also gonna have a push button start. And on my key fob, I'm gonna have a remote starter. So you can fire it up, it'll run for about 10 minutes and be nice and toasty when you hop in. And it will remember if you set the heated seats, which is also a really cool feature. Now, a few other things in here, we do have the memory seats in the EXL, and this one is gonna get the Homelink auto dimming rear view mirror. So you're not gonna get blinded from the cars behind you. And you can program that to your garage door, which is very nice. 
One other thing that's really convenient is the shift by wire. So with a foot on the brake, you can select drive, reverse, neutral, or park right here. And when you click it into reverse, you'll notice the backup camera on this model. It's gonna just be your standard backup camera. You can look straight down or out behind you, and it makes it very easy to park. And this system frees up a lot of space for your cup holders. You also have your drive mode select down here, and then just a little bit more room for your phone and the large center console. So one other thing, you have a little bit of storage over here to the right and this nice kind of gray stitching that runs through the seats and onto the dash. I like the piano black trim. It's very comfortable in here. There's nothing overcomplicated. Some cars, when you get in, you can't figure out how to change the radio or turn the AC down. This one, there's a knob for the radio. It's a dual climate control in here. It's very simple and straightforward. And that's what I always like about the Honda Pilot. But let's hop over, we'll check out the Elite. All right, so now in the Elite, you do notice a few differences right away. The main one being that panoramic sunroof up above, especially with the dark interior. It really opens it up in here and looks really nice, not only for you, but for the back passengers, it definitely makes a pretty big difference. Now beyond that, another difference right away is going to be that you're going to have heated as well as ventilated seats. So these are a little bit different design and you've kind of got the gray piping that runs through with the stitching. They look really nice. And again, they're just as comfortable as in the EXL. So this one with the heated seats, you also get the heated steering wheel, which is absolutely one of my favorite features. And the steering wheel layout is gonna be a little bit different because we have a full digital gauge cluster up here. So the left side kind of does your audio or radio controls. And on the right side, it's gonna be similar to the EXL where it's gonna show you all your trip computers, some of, that, uh, some of your safety features in here as well, road departure mitigation, blind spot monitoring, your low speed brake control as well. Both these vehicles do have parking sensors to notify you when you're backing up or getting too close to something. So a big difference with this backup camera, it's actually got the full 360 camera. So there's little mirrors in the side and in the front. So it'll let you see in front of you, next to you when you pop it into reverse, and that is gonna help you not bump into anything. Maybe you've got a tight garage spot. That's an excellent feature there. So this infotainment is a little bit different. It's gonna have the built-in navigation. And again, I've paired my phone. So this is gonna have the wireless Apple CarPlay as well as Android Auto. So the same layout down here, again, this one's gonna have the wireless charging and in the back, that's where it makes a big difference with the Elite because your second row is going to have heated seats back there. As well, they're gonna have a household plug and we get the Bose audio system in here. So one other feature that's pretty cool in here is this thing called Cabin Talk. So when you click Cabin Talk, you actually notice it right away, it changes. So instead of turning around to say something to the rear passengers, you speak normally ahead and that will go to the rear speakers back there. And it's again, a safety feature to keep your eyes on the road ahead. And as well, the Elite adds the heads up display. So that can show you your cruise control, your miles per hour. That again is a very nice feature and something that's pretty cool when you're out doing a lot of driving. So in the second row, this one has that bench seat. So you can fit eight people in here versus the seven with the captain's chairs. And that center section can actually be stowed away, which is really nice and convenient. Or you can just fold it down individually. There's a lot of ways to configure these, kind of like a different puzzle setup, depending if you want to haul people or stuff around. The Honda Pilot is very versatile in that regard. So it's kind of a lot of information. Obviously there's less equipment, there's different equipment you can add to these, but the Elite is gonna pretty much be the top tier and give you all of the goodies. The EXL is just a little bit of a step down. Price difference, that one's around $47,000. This one bumps up to 55,000. And like I said, there is lower tier levels if you're looking for less equipment in the Pilot, but you get all the same usability, all the great style and fuel economy with this. I think there's a lot to like. And if you're in the market for a third row SUV, you gotta get out and take the Pilot for a spin, see what you think. So that was just a brief look at a couple of 24 Honda Pilots. Now, if you'd like more information or you want to schedule a test drive, you can visit us online at walzer.com or stop by Walzer Honda. We'd be happy to help you out. Thanks for watching.